Hi guys, uh, wanted to uh, share with you some knives that were uh, given to me. I, I entered a, a contest and uh, to a fellow YouTube uh, friend who uh, has been making videos as a subscriber and, and I'm a subscriber to uh, his channel as well. And that's, that's Paps Knives 63 and uh, he had a contest uh, some of you may have seen not too long ago and it was basically uh, showing a few of these uh, knives that I had before you um, the motorcycle knives and uh, and and this uh, longhorn knife I'll show you in a minute um, and basically it was uh, whoever anyone wants these anyone interested uh, first one to post um, can have them and what a, what a generous uh, a generous offering and um, to, 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 to do this and I was uh, thankfully I was um, fortunate enough to, to see the video uh, pretty close to it being posted and was able to to chime in and and, and actually won these so um, I want to go ahead and show them to you right now um, the first two are, are uh, um, motorcycle knives actually kind of a motorcycle motif and he basically prefaced this as being knives you'd want to hang, uh, you know, show your friends, your knife buddies, maybe not ones that you would put to use, but more of a kind of a, a knife theme um, interest and just kind of a fun thing to collect and, and just have around. And I agree, I, I, there's a lot of things I like about these. Um, these are made in China, as he said earlier, if you checked out his video, but you can see um, kind of in a wooden box here. And they have this photograph, or not, well, a uh, reproduction of a, it's actually a watercolor painting, actually a quite well done watercolor paint of a motorcycle. And what I like about this is it, it zooms in on a certain part of the motorcycle, both of these do. And I really like the, the composition on that. And it goes, well, goes along with the full motorcycle right here, as you can see on the knife. Take these out here. Lock back knives. Actually, pretty solidly constructed. No blade play at all, which uh, I see quite often on knives that are in the forty and fifty dollar range, which you think you, they wouldn't. But kind of a fun, uh, fun motif. You got the the knife itself, similar to the gas tank of a motorcycle, maybe even just the different engine part. Anyway, I thought it was really kind of a cool, a cool setup with the with the box and the artwork, and just the, almost an Art Deco kind of look. I, I really appreciate that. And they had it in red and also in blue. Similar but different, as you can see there. Anyway, kind of neat. I appreciate it. Um, very cool. I like this uh, painting a lot too. Goes well with the theme. So anyway, very cool. Thank you for those. And uh, next, I'm gonna put these aside down here. Uh, he had this, which was really <laughs> I really really like this. This is a, such a unique piece. Um, it's kind of a longhorn motif, okay? But then you open it up, and it is a it is a fixed blade. And never seen anything like this before. I was showing my son this, and he 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 thought this was uh, this was great. He loved it. But uh, and I do too. It's just a fun 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 thing to uh, show your friends and just kind of. I just love knife related objects, whatever they are. You know, it just brings up top. It's kind of like that case knife I showed you a while back was all rusted. It's like why would you buy a rusted knife? Well, it's just kind of the the novelty of just having something that has an interesting story behind it or something unique and that's definitely what uh, this is so um, it's really great so thank you so much for this and then the little surprise that he threw in which I thought was very generous and um, with two uh, slip joints two Rough Rider um, actually one's a lock back and one's a slip joint first one is a uh, gunstock pattern 
with a spear blade. This has 440 stainless. Now Rough Rider, if you don't know, they're made in China, but I'll tell you what, the quality of these knives are outstanding for what you get for your money. These are, you know, center blades. Got a pen blade for the secondary blade. You have what's called a match strike pull right here. You can see it has the serrations or the ridges on the on the pull there. Match strike meaning that you could uh, strike your match on those if you needed a place to strike it for the strike anywhere matches. Now this yellow uh, composite material is actually a very traditional material that is was put on slip joints for you know a hundred years. Um, this isn't uh, this isn't uh, celluloid. You don't have to worry about this um, de degrading at all. But uh, great material, great uh, uh, yellow color. They originally made these colors um, just so you wouldn't lose it if you dropped it in the grass. Nice bright yellow, and we'll be able to find it again. Anyways, I really like this knife a lot. Solid, no blade play at all. I'm really impressed. You know, I, I've bought case knives that have had blade play, and I've I've handled uh, I handled a, a you know a number of these Rough Rider knives, and I rarely find blade play on any of these. Here is a double bladed knife with bone handles. Same thing, great solid lockup, no up and down play. It has a clip blade, same blade on both ends. See if I can open these up here. You know what this reminds me of? There's case made a a knife in the back in the late 70s, I believe, called the Longhorn. And if you uh Google that. It was a, I think a knife a little bigger than this, but it had similar, basically the same double locking style. And it had a, almost an ivory uh, micarta. I want to say it was micarta, I'm not sure, but I, think, I believe it was like a paper or linen micarta in ivory. And actually highly collectible if you find one of those. Um, especially if it has the original box and paperwork that it had its, its own kind of box with there. Um, it was either the Texas Longhorn or the Longhorn. I'm not sure what it was. It might have just been Longhorn. But uh, these are uh, great knives. Spyderco made a knife like this called the Dyad. And then I think recently they made a mini Dyad. It was a little smaller. Um, I think it's great. It's nice to have, nice to have two locking blades. Great for uh, whittling if you wanted to whittle. Not be afraid of the blade shutting on your fingers. Anyway, these are quality. Any of you want to try out slip joints and just aren't sure you want to spend the money but want to, would like to try them out, I'd highly recommend the Rough Rider series. Steel Warrior makes another one from China. That's uh, The quality is very good. It's not like it used to be um, where you'd find a lot of uh, problems. I mean, the back springs on these, um, you're not, you don't find the gaps that you might have been found in the past. Um, centered blades. Anyways, very generous. Thanks, thanks to that's Paps Knives sixty three. Uh, just really appreciate that. He's got a generous heart, and I uh, appreciate you uh, just taking the time to uh, mail these out and spend spending the money to do that. Um, I appreciate it. And I'd like you guys if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll put it down below on the description. Uh, please check it, check him out. You know what I like about his channel is that he, uh, you know. First of all, he's older than a lot of us, you know, and he's had a lot of time collecting knives. Been collecting knives, you know, before many of us were alive. And so, what a great opportunity to have someone who has uh, uh, been around and been using and collecting knives for a number of years, and being able to just gain some of the knowledge that he has to share is just an awesome opportunity for for some of us to to be able to um, just uh, see uh, his collection and, and what a collection he has. Um, He's got a lot of knives, a lot of neat knives that he's that he's shared uh, with us on his channel, and uh, and what's neat is that he doesn't just have you know slip joints or one. He has a lot broad range of modern uh, tactical um, locking knives as as well as slip joint knives, um, and so uh, please go over to his channel, check him out, 
and uh, thanks to you. And, and I hope to uh, hope to continue uh, uh, putting out some videos. I know it's been hard to 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 uh, to consistently put out videos for me. Everyone has their busy busy things that are going on with their lives. But I really enjoy this community. I enjoy the people that are uh, involved here on YouTube. And uh, hopefully, you know, I know I've gained so much knowledge. Uh, from from the from the videos here and, and hope hope that I could add a thing or two uh, to the community and I uh, just want to thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video